talk about multiplying polynomials. We're going to start with one that's pretty simple and work our way through one of the hardest ones that we're going to do. So let's go ahead and get started. This first one we have right here, oh, but before we do that, notice it says find each product. Remember that product is a result of multiplication. So if you see that, that tells you what to do. All right, so we're trying to multiply 2 by 7x minus 1. We need to distribute. So 2x times 7x is a 14. Multiply coefficients first. x times x is x squared. Now we're going to multiply 2x times negative 1. That's a minus 2x. Well, I do not know what happened there. All right, so minus 2x. So we cannot combine those two terms. They're not like terms, so we are good with that one. All righty, let's move on to the next one. So on the second problem we've got here, I see there is a binomial times a binomial. Now this is something you did a lot in Algebra 1, so this process may feel pretty familiar to you, but what we're going to do is multiply 5x times 2x first, and this is like multiplying complex numbers yet again. That's popping up yet again. So 5x times 2x would be a 10x squared. Remember, you're multiplying your coefficients. 5x times a positive 4 would be a positive 20x. All right, you've multiplied 5x by both terms. Now let's go back and do the same with negative 8. So negative 8 times 2x would be a negative 16x. And then negative 8 times a positive 4 would be a negative 32. So we've multiplied 5 by both 5x by both terms and negative 8 by both terms. And then you will see that we've got these two middle terms that we could combine because those are like terms. For your answer on this one, we're still going to have our 10x squared, but we're going to combine those x terms and get a positive 4x and then bring down that negative 32 minus 32. So there would be your answer on that one. All right, so pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I mean, as far as algebra goes, that's stuff that you've seen many, many times. This one, maybe not so much. And I noticed that we have changed variables too, but that is okay. We treat it the same way. I want to show you a different way to set this up and it would be with a grid. I do have several people who like using the grid on this. So what we're going to do is break this up. Our first term here we're going to do 5a minus 7. We're going to break it up. Then we're going to take our trinomial over here and we're going to write its terms above the box. So 7a squared plus a plus 6 and we're going to section this off into a 2 by 3 grid, and we're going to multiply what's on the outside, put their product on the inside, and then see if we can combine anything. So 5a times 7a squared first. That would be 35. And a times a squared is a to the third. So we've done that one. Now you can choose which way you want to go. I'm just going to go straight across the row here. So I'm going to do 5a times a. That would be 5a squared. Then 5a times a positive 6 would be a positive 30 with an a on there. Be careful when you're multiplying that you don't forget about your variables and what those are going to change to. All right, so now let's do the same thing but with negative 7. We're going to multiply it by each of these and write their product in the corresponding square. So negative 7 times 7 would be negative 49. And then there is no variable on 7, so this is just going to remain a squared. Same thing, negative 7 times a positive a will be a negative 7a. And then lastly, negative 7 times a positive 6 would be a negative 42. So here we've got some like terms in this grid, and usually what happens is the like terms are on a diagonal. First thing I notice is this 35a to the third. It does not have any of the like terms, so we'll just bring it down. We're going to write this in standard form as we go here. So then negative 49a squared and a positive 5a squared. Let's say that would be a negative 44 when we add our coefficients. We'll leave it as a squared. Now remember, I'm not combining coefficients. Excuse me, I'm not combining exponents because I'm adding. When you're adding, you're just gathering up like terms, so don't make it harder than it's got to be. Don't 
trying to multiply and then multiply again in a sense. All right, and then you've got a negative 7a and a positive 30a. So we add those together and we get positive 23a. And then lastly, we've got our constant, negative 42. That looks kind of complicated, but that's your answer. Right there it is. So 35a to the third minus 44a squared plus 23a minus 42.